So now we're multiplying a mixed number by a whole number, but this time we're going to get our answer by changing the mixed number into an improper fraction. To do that, we multiply the whole number by the denominator and then add the numerator. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11, and the denominator stays the same. So, as an improper fraction, we can write 2 and 3 quarters as 11 quarters. Now we're multiplying by 3, but we need to remember that when we multiply a fraction by a whole number, we only multiply the numerator and the denominator stays the same. 11 times 3 is 33, and we still keep the 4 as our denominator. So, as an improper fraction, our answer is 33 quarters, or 33 over 4. But we can turn that back into a mixed number by dividing. 33 divided by 4 is 8 remainder 1, and the denominator stays the same. So our answer is 8 and 1 quarter. And we can check 8 times 4 is 32, plus 1 is 33. Now we have 2 and 1 quarter times 6. Again, we can change 2 and 1 quarter into an improper fraction. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So that's 9 quarters as an improper fraction. We're multiplying by 6, so we remember that we only multiply the numerator by 6. If we multiply the denominator by 6 as well, then all we've done is found an equivalent fraction. But we want to make 2 and 1 quarter 6 times bigger. We don't want to find something that's equivalent. So 9 times 6 is 54, and we keep the denominator the same. So as an improper fraction, our answer is 54 over 4. But remember, a fraction is really a division. So we can turn this into a mixed number by dividing 54 by 4. 5 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 1, because 1 times 4 is 4, then we need one more to get to 5. Now, 14 divided by 4 is 3 remainder 2, because 3 times 4 is 12, and we need 2 more to get to 14. But we can write the remainder 2 as our numerator, and the denominator is 4 because that's our divisor. That's the number that we're dividing by. So our answer is 13 and 2 quarters. So let's take another look at this first question. We had 2 and 3 quarters, but we saw that that's the same as 11 quarters, because each of these pieces is a quarter, and we have 11 of them. Now multiplying that by 3 means that we can show 2 and 3 quarters, or 11 quarters, 3 times. That means that we have 33 quarters altogether. And if we do some regrouping, we can see that 33 quarters is the same as 8 holes and 1 quarter. So that's our answer. Then we had 2 and 1 quarter times 6. So we can show 2 holes and 1 quarter as 9 quarters. And we're multiplying by 6, so we can show this 6 times. Now that gives us 54 quarters altogether. And if we do quite a lot of regrouping here, we can see that we get 13 whole fraction bars shaded and 2 quarters of another one. So that's why our answer is 13 and 2 quarters. Now let's try 1 and 1 third times 60. We can change 1 and 1 third to an improper fraction. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So that's 4 thirds as an improper fraction. And we're multiplying by 60, so we remember to only multiply the numerator and keep the denominator the same. 4 times 60 is 240. That's because 4 times 6 is 24, and if we have 1 and 0 in a multiplication, we need 1 and 0 in our answer. But we need to remember that the denominator of 3 stays the same. So we have 240 over 3. If we divide 240 by 3, we get 80. That's because 24 divided by 3 is 8, 
and if we have one n0 in a dividend, we need the n0 in the quotient. So our answer is 80. So sometimes when we multiply a mixed number by a whole number, we can still get a whole number as our answer. Finally, we have 13 times one and a half. We can start by changing one and a half into an improper fraction. One times two is two, plus one is three. So that's three halves as an improper fraction, and we're multiplying by 13. So here I've switched it round and written it with one and a half or three halves first, but remember we can do that because with multiplication, order doesn't matter. Now, three times 13, we can use column method multiplication if we're not sure. Three times three is nine, one times three is three, so that's 39, and the denominator of two stays the same. So as an improper fraction, our answer is 39 over two, but we can change that back into a mixed number by dividing 39 by two. Three divided by two is one remainder one, and 19 divided by two is nine remainder one. The denominator stays what we were dividing by, so that gives us our answer, 19 and a half.